Uh, as of Monday, I am making a dramatic change in the format of my show. Tales from SYL Ranch is going to change to basically political commentary uh, with a new tagline of news and commentary from the heartland. I will be uploading pre-recorded videos 15 minutes or less in length in which I will generally comment on issues of the day at least once a week and potentially more, um, potentially quite a lot more if uh, current events demand it. In fact, I already have a topic regarding freedom of speech that will drop on Monday. I will occasionally hold live streams when I accumulate enough viewers to make it seem appropriate. Now, I know I've talked about this before, I've tried it, but this time I really mean it. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Some of it is current events, some of it is how I think the press is now actively agitating for civil war, and I think I need to be at the forefront. As I mentioned last week, uh, if they actually get what they want, going to make it my mission in life to make sure that people in my part of the country who make their food starve them out. And so I want to be at the forefront of that. The other reason is, uh, as a result of pushing some of my commentary clips, I'm seeing a significant uptick in both my subscribers to the channel and followers on social media. And after doing this show for more than two years now, uh, my channel views my, my views and my subs remain very small. Uh, in fact, in YouTube terms, you could only call this show a complete bust. And there are reasons for this, for it not being successful. And I understand them. To be successful in this space, you must be some combination of young, attractive, female, or a gamer, and I am none of the above. And also my long-form reviews are too much for an audience that has been trained to have an attention span of 15 minutes or less, preferably 10 minutes or less. And in addition, there's the fact that these reviews take a lot of time. I'm currently spending upwards of 16 hours per week on this, in fact. And I also have behind the scenes some personal issues, most of which are financial that I'm not going to discuss, that are demanding a lot more of my time and would cut into what I can do for prep work on this. And while I do love all of my loyal viewers, and that certainly includes you, Larry Larry, you've been there always for me, um, doing commentary in short form videos that are easier to produce and where my age is an asset rather than a deficit which it is in doing these reviews. These reviews, my age is an absolute deficit, and this was brought home to me when I went to sign up for a health club because I signed up for one that was relatively inexpensive at a local college. The girl who signed me up for it made some assumptions about my age that I did not disabuse her of. She thought I was a senior citizen. I have not yet quite reached that status. Clearly, however, people see me as much older, and that is a problem in this space. Hey, SuperCrew63, you're here too. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Um, and you've always been here for me as well. You've both always been here for me, and I have very much appreciated that. I really do. And I hope that you will continue uh, to follow me, subscribe, uh, support me, even after the format change. I had, in fact, considered changing to short-form reviews. Um, and as Larry Larry says, average person has the attention of a tsetse ply. That's exactly right. And unfortunately, in terms of short-form reviews, well, there's already about 1.21 giga YouTubers who are already in that space, most of whom are combinations of young, attractive female and gamers. And so there is literally nothing to particularly distinguish me. And, uh, you know, it's hammered home from time to time, as I said, when I went to apply for that uh, membership and discovered that it was only going to be $22 a month because the college girl sitting behind the desk did not bother to ask for an ID to discover what my age was, nor did she even ask. She just assumed that I was a senior citizen. That's how they see me. <laughs> SuperGuru62 says, I qualified for senior discount, and I'm only one year older than you. Yeah, that's where the... That, well. It varies in terms of where, who does what, senior citizen discounts. But yes, uh, 55 is uh, where the line cutoff is, but she didn't even bother to ask. Didn't even bother to ask. Took one look at me and said, in her head said, senior citizen, must be. He's old. However, with this format change, 
Uh, I am a libertarian, and I know and I understand that nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. I think you'll find that I'm going to be able to provide some insight into current events that you will not be able to find anywhere else. It's the same sort of thing that I have done when I do ranting about this, that, or the other thing. I'm going to do those sorts of rants. It's just that I'm going to do them in 10 to 15 minute pre-dropped um, videos. And again, I would certainly hope that you guys would, uh, you know, follow me over there. I'd really, really deeply enjoy it if you did. One thing about that is my production values will also increase. I have been limited to only 10 frames per second because I am free streaming. However, my hardware will support recording at 30 frames per second, so that will be one of the nice things. My hardware can also support animated backgrounds on my green screen, and I have one picked out for it, as well as insets into that green screen so I can put up pictures in the corners where you would kind of expect that to happen on such a show. So my uh, production values will be able to go up like that. I cannot do it right now. That would completely blow up the hardware and uh, 10 frames per second wouldn't even be possible then. Uh, check it out. Thank you very much, Larry Larry. Again, it's going to be a lot like the sorts of things that I talk about when I have news and commentary here. And as I say, next week, I already have one planned for Monday uh, that will be about uh, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. I can tease it a little bit because of what happened with PragerU the just today. Um, we are, well, I don't want to blow all the content, put it, put it this way. We are starting to see the rise of the corporate um, uh, censor, the corporate censorship rather than government censorship, but it being ultimately the same thing. Now, I won't be completely abandoning science fiction, fantasy, superheroes, etc. So, for example, when STD inevitably portrays Spock and Michael Burnham as ever either, either having had a romantic and very likely sexual relationship, I will be screaming about it at the top of my lungs. If a show like The Orville does something very, very right, like they did tonight, or even if they do something very, very wrong, I will talk about that. And where science fiction intersects other commentary, such as the fact that Hollywood is a wretched hive of scum and villainy that produces nothing but horror in our pop culture. I will discuss that. And in fact, I think that will probably uh, play a little better with uh, a larger uh, you know, audience who's more interested in those kind of issues. I, I can come to them and say, hey, look, here's, here's maybe something you hadn't thought about. All of our entertainment comes from a place where people only know horror in their lives. You know, maybe that'll, that'll fly a little better. Larry Levy says, when I order fast food on the drive through speaker, they automatically have the senior citizen discount included when I reach the window to pay. I uh, never even asked for it or told them my age. Yep, yeah, I've reached that point. I've reached that point, and it is clearly a deficit in terms of doing this show. While I love you guys being there, I love you guys being here. Don't get me wrong. I have been thrilled. I've been thrilled. But the fact is, my age and long-form reviews are clearly a deficit in terms of trying to grow a real audience. It's not much a wide audience, a big audience. You guys are a real audience. I shouldn't have said that, but a wide audience. And I think that some of the stuff that I have to say on that regard will probably, you know, even when it intersects things like, you know, uh, science fiction and, and superheroes and things like that, I think those, uh, that sort of thing will also play better um, to a larger audience. And I will also have things to say like about these fools on the internet who think that Thanos did the right thing in Avengers Infinity War by murdering half the population of the universe. And yes, there are actually people who believe that. They're all over YouTube. You can find them. And I will talk about that. But again, I think that will play that particular part of it where, where things intersect uh, you know, where science fiction intersects with real life and real world uh, types of, uh, you know, attitudes will play better to a larger audience. Uh, Larry Lee says, uh, you like the live format. Yeah, the problem is, um, again, I don't want to talk about it too much, uh, has to do with uh, uh, financial issues and how much time the show takes up and when I do this 
and how that's impacting some of that. So I'm, they're going to be dropped. They're going to be dropped. They're going to be re-recorded and dropped. But again, I will have, uh, you know, once I reach a point where I've got an adequate number of subscribers, like every other YouTuber does this, I will, uh, you know, schedule live streams that will not necessarily be about any given topic in particular, uh, but where one where we can just converse about things, as many people do. Uh, for this, although I will not be screaming the way that she does, I look at Jesse Milestone from Mindless Entertainment, who obviously benefits from some of the things I talked about in terms of being young, attractive female gamer. She has a combination of those things uh, that I don't. But there's, there are people my age who are making it in this space and do the same thing where they hold live streams after they have adequate number of uh, subscribers such that they can see, you know, additional uh, things scrolling through and, and have a more back and forth dialogue. So I have to thank you guys again, my very loyal viewers and supporters, and you've given me both a ton of emotional and financial support over the last two years. You have been an utter joy to have on my channel and in my live streams, and I hope that you will continue to watch and support me even after this format change. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll start to hate it. But I think at this point, if I'm going down to the uh, amount of time that I need to be spending on this uh, for other things to work out in my life, that maybe I won't. The last time I tried this, I was trying to do it full time, coming in every day, doing something horrible about the news. No, I can't do that. But if I pick a topic, you know, two, three, maybe even five times a week, depends on how bad things are, I might, uh, I might be able to, uh, you know, stomach that. <laughs> if I was doing it for 10 minutes or so. Uh, thank you, Larry, about doing what I gotta do. Yeah, there are a number of things going on, and not just you know the fact that I operate on significant deficits in terms of making the show grow, but also that, yeah. There are things going on back in the background that you don't know about and I'm not gonna talk about, so. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.